In this video, we are going to explore the math module. One of the more used modules you will come across is the math module. Mathematics is the backbone of programming, and there's an incredible number of uses the math module can have in your code. The math module provides access to a plethora of mathematical functions, from simply displaying the value of pi to helping you create complex 3D shapes. Math is built into Python 3, so there is no need to pip install it. Let's go ahead and import it. So we will say import math, just like that. And importing the math module will give you access to the module's code. So from there, you can call up any functions with math by using math, followed by the name of the function in question. For example, if we'll say math, I want to get the sign for any number sine of 2. Let's try the cosine. You can also import the floor and seal functions from math module, which round up and down a float number. So we will say from math import floor and seal. And let's go ahead and try the floor for any float number. So 1.6, which is 1 and the seal for 1.1, for example, will be 2. You can also rename the math module and any other module really, as this saves time. So let's say import math as M, and we will use the M, which is the math module, dot a method called trunk. And let's type any float number. So let's say 254.46. Enter. And the trunk method returns the truncated integer part of a number. You can also import functions from a module and rename them. Although it's not a common practice, but you can certainly do it. So let's say from math, import floor as, and we'll give it an alias of f. Then let's use the floor method again using the f alias 1.2 and it will work just fine as this example floor 1.6 gave us 1. Also f 1.2 will give us 1. Some functions are more accurate or to be more precise are designed to return a more accurate value than others. Let's take for instance f sum or floating sum which is designed to return a more accurate value of adding floating numbers. But we will need to import it from math. So we will say from math, import the fsum function or method. Okay. If we'll use the fsum, and inside here we will have a list of different floating numbers. Let's say 0.1, 10 times we get 1.0. If we will just use the sum method without the f, we will get 0 0.9999. The last thing I want to talk about is e and pi, which will be the two most used functions, e being the numerical constant equal to 2.71828, where the circumference of a circle is divided by its diameter. So let's go ahead and print math dot e we get 2.71828 and we can take a look to pi as well so we will use the math module followed by the pi function we get 3.14 all right certainly the math module has a lot to offer and we have just scratched the surface in this quick video so you can go ahead and check out the website for the official documentation for the math module. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next videos.